uh, why are European countries on a peak right now? Because some of them are offering minimal to zero corporate tax and today I'm going to show you five of them. My name is Rusudan Abdushalishvili. I'm responsible for financial health here at Nomad Capitalist where we help high net worth individuals legally reduce their taxes, get second citizenships and go where you're treated best. So taxation never stops being a hot discussion topic. While high tax countries like the US usually tax people when leaving or running a business, seeking nations with lower tax rates or even tax exemptions tend to gain more in popularity. There are two common methods for tax savings that you can consider. Um, there are countries with no or minimal income tax or uh, countries with um, the territorial tax regime. However, there are other factors to the equation like the compliance requirements, banking needs, the overall reputability of an offshore jurisdiction, all of which makes the selection process that uh, much more complex. Some people stereotype Europe as a high-tax continent, which is not valid. Many EU countries offer high quality of life, offer freedom. That's the word we value the most in nomad capitalist. Freedom to live a life uh, as you want and especially where you want. And if you want to choose the right country for, for your business, you can achieve financial freedom as well. In this video, a video, let's focus on countries with no or minimal income tax in Europe. So let's start with Malta. Malta is one of only four countries on this list that are part of the Schengen area and one of only three that are also part of the European Union. The island nation has developed some of the EU's most tax-friendly programs for both individual residents and corporations, with corporate tax rates as low as 5% possible for non-resident companies. Malta has long had a flat fee residence program available, but as we have previously discussed, the newer Golden Residence program has become the second permanent residency of choice. Unlike Andorra and Monaco, Malta does not require any physical presence on its two Mediterranean islands, meaning you can establish residency, uh, but not live there at all. Uh, furthermore, they have prided themselves on reducing bureaucracy and even allowing residents to include um, domestic staff on, staff on their applications, similar to, let's say, Malaysia's MM2H program. Maltese residents are not subject to tax in Malta on foreign sourced income um, that is kept outside of the country. Uh, what's even better, they are not subject to tax on foreign capital gains, even if those gains are then sent to Malta bank account. Other income, including pensions, can be taxed once at a flat 15% thanks to Malta's tax treaty network. Um, second country is Portugal. Most people don't associate Portugal with low tax countries um, and in most cases they are right. Uh, Portugal is hardly a tax rate favorable place for the average resident. The country's tax revenue uh, stands at 23.4%, um, let's say in March 2022, compared to Switzerland's latest 9.2%. However, foreigners can take advantage of a 10-year non-habitual resident tax exemption that exempts up to 100% of their income uh, from Portuguese tax. While this exemption doesn't allow you to live in Portugal tax-free for forever, it is long enough to allow you to claim Portugal citizenship if you meet the rather lenient physical stay requirement. The first step to living in Portugal is to obtain Portuguese residency. Uh, then that can be done by purchasing real estate through the well-known uh, Golden Visa program, uh, but it can be done more easily by hiring people or merely by proving that um, you have rental income overseas. The next country we're going to talk about is Switzerland. There is no doubt that Switzerland has become less friendly both for immigration and banking in recent years. That said, it is still one of the safest and most respected countries in the whole world, um, with a location at the heart of Europe. Swiss res residency offers an air of legitimacy that many other low-tax residences can't match. Foreigners have two residency options to choose from. The first is to form a new company in Switzerland and hire local employees. This company will pay corporate income tax based on which uh, canton or region it is incorporated in and you as the manager uh, will pay Swiss income tax. 
uh, the more common and lower tax method to living in Switzerland is the lump sum taxation method, also known as the uh, taxation according to ex expenditure. Under this method, a family may move to Switzerland and pay a flat annual tax based on their cost of living rather than their annual income. Um, generally speaking, expect to pay at least $150,000 and up to $1 million in flat tax each year, depending on which kind you want to live in. The next country is Andorra, which is a perfect for those with capital gains or, or generational wealth. It has no wealth tax, no gift tax, no inheritance tax, and the only capital gains tax is assessed on most sales of Andorra real estate. Uh, the only tax is, uh, is an income tax, of which a generous 24,000 euros is exempt, and the top, uh, top rate of 10% takes effect at the 40,000 euro level. Unless you're well noted in your field, there are two ways uh, to qualify for residence, uh, make an investment or start a company. Either way, you'll need to pledge to spend 90 days per year living in Andorra, rent or own um, a property, maintain a bond and uh, maintain health insurance. Many residents are exempt from uh, the already low tax rates depending on how their income is earned. For you to start a company, you will need to present your CV and a business plan as well as a deposit of 50,000 euro bond for a single applicant. This route requires far less uh, upfront capital, but you do need to actually run a business, uh, which means living in Andorra um, should be part of your overall corporate or tax strategy planning. If you prefer uh, to be a passive resident, you may invest 400,000 euros in Andorra, which can include investment in real estate. So the last country on the list is Bulgaria. At a flat 10% rate, Bulgaria has the European Union's lowest personal income tax. Uh, corporate income tax rates are the same of a flat rate of 10%, and Bulgaria maintains tax treaties with many countries that uh, could allow for uh, special tax treatment for um, some international entrepreneurs. The payroll taxes are kept at 19.6%. Basically, Bulgaria's tax system is very simple. Live there and pay taxes at only a 10% rate. You can become a fiscal resident by living in Bulgaria for at least 183 days in a year or by convincing the tax office um, that Bulgaria is your like, center of life. While merely staying in the country is often easier, the center of life test gives you more flexibility and it involves a number of factors. Eastern Europe is one of the world's most underrated places for living, in my opinion. Um, although out of the Balkan countries, I would personally uh, point out Serbia and Romania as well. That said, Bulgaria has the advantage of being a rather open place to operate, with bank accounts be being easy to open and substantial low-tax offshore company industry attracting plenty of investors and capital. You can check out Bulgaria Citizenship by Investment program and see if getting Bulgarian citizenship will help your tax strategy. If you need a residence or a company uh, in the EU for business purposes, I do, do think that Bulgaria is ideal for you. Uh, remember that for proper tax planning, you must consult with professionals who can guide you through the process and help you choose the correct destination for your business. Feel free to contact Nomad Capitalist for more information. Our team will plan every step to help you go where you're treated best. If you want to hear more about other countries, please comment below and we will make another video for you.